As we get into more specialized forms of asking questions, we can look at our protocol analysis. A good example of a protocol is in financial services. When somebody applies for a mortgage or a consumer loan, they have to get certain disclosures, good faith estimates, signatures, these things that are the government requires are taken into account. Now these things are mandated and absolutely must be done the prescribed way, otherwise you'll be in violation of federal law and your loan will be null and void. Now likewise, most processes include areas where when we get to a certain point, there are things that absolutely must happen and within a given time range. Now in comparison to a query which says, give me all the cases which match my condition I've created, protocols will allow me to define a set of rules which should always be followed and will show me the timelines that violate those rules. So in other words, it's going to be the inverse of that query in that it shows the timelines which don't match the rules that I've set forth. I've got a simple restock protocol created here that says once our goods are shipped and our order comes back as being rejected by the customer, I want to make sure that I've restocked those goods within 10 days of that order rejection notice. Otherwise, our goods are essentially sitting and waiting in limbo. Now, what's nice is these protocols can be set up to fire off alerts, just like queries. So I can be notified any time we were to breach an unacceptable threshold. Now, just opposed to looking at new data coming into the system, we can also use these protocols to analyze our historical data. So if I click Show Violations, here are all the different ways that this protocol has been violated using my historical data along with its root cause. So restock was missing, or we had a time violation on the restock. Now if either one of these violations stands out, I can apply them as a filter and drill into specifically those orders which have exhibited a protocol violation.